All right, welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to create the automobile blocks tire here in Autodesk. So the first thing we're going to do here is look at number one. We're going to sketch uh, two concentric circles using a mid-plane or symmetric extrusion here. So I'm going to scroll down here. So we're going to create these two circles. We're going to create this outer one, which has a diameter of 1.65 inches, and then we're going to offset another circle 0.1 inches. Okay, so let's go to Autodesk. Okay, let's go to New. Standard, create, start 2D sketch. All right, so we're going to grab our circle tool, click on our origin, and just drag out. We can just type it in as we're dragging it 1.65, hit enter. Okay, hit escape. I'm going to zoom in here. Now we want to offset. So you come over here to offset, and you're going to click on your circle, and you're going to bring it in, I believe it was 0.1 inches okay okay we want to make one more off circle offset so we want to bring click here and we want to bring it in 0.03 enter okay hit escape all right so now let's grab our line tool we're gonna to make a little drawing here that starts here at our origin it's gonna come up kind of a triangle here and we're gonna come across and come back to our origin. Hit escape. Now we want one of our constraints here. We want our vertical constraints and we just want to make sure that that is okay matches our midpoint constraint matches our origin down here. Okay, hit escape. All right, so notice we have two four degrees right here we need to take into account. So we're going to make a total of eight degrees between our two lines on our drawing. So we're going to go to dimension, and we want that to be eight degrees. Hit enter. All right, now we need to trim excess uh, lines here to make our little ribs that are going to stick out on the inner portion of our tire. So we're going to go to the trim right up here. Okay, let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. There, there. Okay. And there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and finish our sketch. Let's go to extrude. And we're going to want to select on our symmetrical option right here. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to it's going to add material on this plane right here, both ways equally, so that it's symmetrical around this plane. All right. So we're going to click there, click once again on there, and we're going to make it a distance of 0.4. Notice how that extruded across this our drawing here, both ways. Okay, so go ahead and hit OK. All right, so now we want to draw, let's come to our origin here. We want to find a plane that bisects our tire halfway through the middle here. So we're going to find that XY plane right here. Now you can, let's go ahead and right click and do a new sketch on there. So we're going to do what we did last time. We're just going to grab our circle tool, drag it out. Okay, to, so that it has a diameter of 1.65 inches. Okay, and then hit escape. And then once again, we're going to offset that, bring that inwards, oh, uh, 0.1 inches. Okay, then we're going to finish our sketch again. All right, and we're going to extrude it out from the center again. Okay, but this time it's a little tricky. You got to go to extrude. Okay, and we're going to want to do it 0.5 inches, and we got to find the face here. That's the face. Autodesk is smart. It's like, okay, you have a drawing, okay, on this mid-plane axis here. So click on that, try to find it, and you're going to extrude it out, not one way, but once again, symmetrical, both ways. Okay, and hit OK. Now let's check our rib. Our rib now is slightly inward from the outside edge of our tire. Okay, so we're looking good. 
All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to come back to that plane. We're going to do one more sketch on it. So we're going to do a project geometry. Click on that line. Okay, and then we're going to offset it again. 0 0.03, hit enter. Okay, now let's go ahead and finish our sketch. All right, and once again, we're going to extrude it. Okay, that face. We're going to bisect it. And this time we're going to do a 0.05. Okay. And then we're going to hit OK. And now we have that nice strip running right down the middle of our tire. Okay, that you can see. Right here. All right, so the last thing we need to do here is use our circular pattern to create these 15 ribs around our center axis here of our tire. All right, so let's come back to Autodesk. Uh, let's go to uh, circular pattern right here. Okay, now we need to identify the feature. So we want this guy right here. We want that repeated 15 times. And then we got to identify our axis, which is pretty much right here in the center. And then we don't want six of them, we want 15 of them. And hit OK. All right, looks pretty good. All right, and then finally, let's just give it a color of green here. And you're good. Go ahead and save your work. Whoops. All right, go ahead and save your work and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.